But I want to talk about Moscow Mitch. And let's just line this up for a second. So you have Robert Mueller, a lifelong Republican, the most respected FBI director in the history of this country, a, a, a Vietnam War hero, a guy that made the Ranger, uh, the Army Rangers Hall of Fame, uh, a, a guy who said Russia is trying to invade America right now. They're in Moscow Mitch says it's a hoax. Mm. You have his own intelligence committee in the Senate, uh, led by Republican Richard <clears throat> Burr, saying that Russia tried to infiltrate all 50 uh, states back in 2016 and are going to try it again. Moscow Mitch calls it a hoax. You have the Republican Trump appointed FBI director saying that the Russians infiltrated America's democracy and are going to try again. Moscow Mitch calls it a hoax. You have the head, the director of national intelligence saying that the Russians tried to infiltrate our election system, tried to subvert American democracy and they're going to try it again. Moscow Mitch said it's a hoax. You have Trump's appointed director of the CIA saying that the Russians are trying to undermine American democracy, that the Russians tried in 16, will try again. Moscow Mitch calls it a hoax. You have military intel people, the military intel community, knowing because they were fighting the Russians in 2015, 2016, and are still fighting them every day to stop them from continuing to infiltrate American democracy. Donnie, Moscow Mitch says it's a hoax. Now, tell me, I, I understand that there's a, a, an oligarch that I, I, I've, I've read is going to be setting up a big aluminum plant in Moscow Mitch's home state. I don't know if that's it, but how can Moscow Mitch uh, so, so willingly turn a blind eye, not only this year, to what his Republican chairman of the Intel Committee is saying, to what Robert Mueller is saying, to what the FBI director is saying, to what the DNI is saying, to what the CIA is saying, to what the United States military intel community is saying. How can Moscow Mitch <clears throat> keep denying that Vladimir Putin continues to try to subvert American democracy? He is aiding and abetting yeah. Vladimir Putin's ongoing attempts to subvert American democracy, according to the Republican FBI, CIA, DNI, Intel Committee, directors. All Republicans are all saying Russia is subverting American democracy, and Moscow Mitch won't even let the Senate take a vote on it. Joe. That is un-American. This is Joe Scarborough slamming Mitch McConnell after the Republicans, led by the Senate Majority Leader, killed a series of election security bills intended to protect the U.S. from further interference. Two would have required campaigns to report to federal authorities any attempts by foreign entities to interfere in U.S. elections, and another would have protected the personal accounts and devices of elected officials from hackers. Seems like common sense, especially in the immediate aftermath and continuation of Russian interference in our elections, right? Guess not. And worst of all is that this comes after the Senate Intelligence Committee released a new report only this week stating that election systems in all 50 states were targeted by Russia in 2016, largely undetected by state and federal officials, and after Mueller's testimony also this week confirming that Russian meddling efforts are still ongoing. And look, the reason is obvious. McConnell can hem and haw and pretend that it's a waste of precious funds, which is rich, by the way, coming from a party that passed a $1.5 trillion tax cut that exclusively benefits the rich that exploded our deficit. But the real reason is that Russian election interference benefits Republicans. Period. This isn't rocket science. Of course the GOP isn't going to do anything to endanger their leg up, because nothing they do is in defense of our democracy, it's in defense of their grip on power. And by the way, that Republicans stood and continue to stand to benefit isn't up for debate. Robert Mueller confirmed during his testimony that Russian interference benefited Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton. Did your investigation find that the Russian government perceived it would benefit from one of the candidates winning? Yes. And which candidate would that be? Well, it uh, would be Trump. Uh, Trump. And if that's not enough, well, we have Vladimir Putin himself admitting that he wanted Trump to win. But did you want legal President framework. Trump to but win the election? Yeah. And did you direct any of your officials to help him do that? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. Because he talked about bringing the U.S.-Russia relationship back to normal. Not 
quite sure how much more proof we need. But most ironic is that throughout all of this, Republicans have tried to lay claim to the entire notion of patriotism, constantly calling out Democrats for being un-American. Democrats want to give Americans health care, Republicans call it socialism and therefore un-American. Four non-white Democrats dare speak out against Trump, he suggests that they go back to where they came from because they're being un-American. Democrats support Colin Kaepernick kneeling to protest police brutality, Republicans twist its meaning claiming that he's protesting the flag and suggest that he's un-American. It's their only trick. Apparently everything Democrats do is un-American, even though a two year special counsel investigation revealed that Republicans committed acts that I might consider a little more un-American if it was up to me. Because I tend to think that the president's son, campaign manager and advisor taking a meeting in Trump Tower to discuss dirt on a political opponent with a Kremlin linked lawyer is un-American. I tend to think that the Republican nominee's campaign manager sharing polling data with the Russians is un-American. I tend to think that the president-elect's national security advisor violating the Logan Act and discussing lifting sanctions on Russians, who by the way incurred those sanctions for meddling in our sovereign elections, is un-American. I tend to think that a candidate running for President of the United States going on national television and asking the Russians to hack into his opponent's emails is un American. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. But again, that's just me. So the next time that Republicans claim Democrats are un American, Take a look at which side is actively protecting a foreign adversary in the process of attacking our country. Because as usual, the difference between what Republicans say and what they do speaks for itself.